All right, Diane Tep. I'm sorry if I say your name wrong. Uh, but here is basically what I think is going to be the best build order for you. Essentially, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you do a one Raider expand, not a two Raider expand. One Raider expand um, into just a four racks off of two bases and try to kill your opponent. Um, so yeah, that's 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 what I think is going to be probably the best for you. Um, I'm just going to do this on Ravage just because um, I'm not really sure if uh, what map you'll play after Stronghold Fabius if you play this week. If not, um, if Neo Emil shows up, he'll probably play. If not, uh, you'll, you'll be playing on Stronghold Fabius and the other maps, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to do a 1 Raider expand into a 4 Rax off of 2 bases, I think, just for a nice uh, big punch, I think. Um, so we are going to go for a Raider Expand, Standard Build. Of course, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and then, because this is, I've seen you do this, uh, I looked at some of your replays and you tend, you wanted to play Rax, so I think uh, this is probably uh, our best bet. Um, so yeah, uh, you want to be going up to 11 workers. You can't go up to 12, but I think 11 workers is just uh, a little bit more economic. If you want to be safe, you can go up to 12, but I'm going to go up to 11 on this. Uh, I think it's a little bit better. With your first worker after the racks is done, you can scout around if you want. You don't have to. And then we're going to go for one raider. We're going to stop at 11 workers, so it's going to be 13 supply. At once, sir. Your command. At once, sir. So, As you, wish. Um, you can also look at uh, the video I sent to uh, Hydra if you want to uh, kind of, I guess, get a yes. get a feel of what uh, what that build is like. But I think this is. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for you just because you don't have the, I guess, the raw mechanics as much as Hydra does. So we're going to go for a castle. So uh, I guess I should have said uh, what ha what happens generally. Um, if it is a one den or a two den, early den, after house, um, their wolves are going to hit really early. So they're going to hit just before your raider pops on a standard, on like Ravage, for example, or just after, depending on if they went uh, 7 house or 8 house, or 9 house, I guess. Um, but yeah, if that happens, I want you to still go for the castle, but build a tower and just be ultra safe. Build a tower. Uh, on Ravage, you would build a tower right here, and uh, you would yes. just keep your raider home if that does happen. If that does not happen, uh, you just can just go, go across the map. We're going to build an archer immediately after this, once you have the money. Um, if you're playing against Rax, you're probably going to be uh, seeing you know, your raiders high-five in the middle of the map. As soon as that happens, as soon as they you get the sound that they're attacking, just honestly just bring it back. Bring the raider back and uh, don't, don't be too worried about a raider versus raider fight. And just bring it back. If you don't see anything, just continue going across the map. It's going to be probably a uh, like a FE2 den or a mech play. So I should have started this work a little bit earlier, but we're going to continually build archers. And then if it's uh, against uh, beast, you just want to try to be as annoying as possible. But don't lose your raider. Don't get it surrounded. If it does get surrounded, flash away. If it is against mech, um, you can try to, you know, maybe take down a worker or two, but honestly, uh, just keep your raider alive is, I think, the best and most important play. As you wish, so yeah, that's what you want to be doing with your first raider. While that's going on, approximately now, so approximately at three minutes, we're going to pull a handful of workers in over. You bring five. I brought four there by mistake. But you bring five of them. And you continually build units like so. So continue to build archers, uh, continue to build workers, and then, you know, at the same time you want to be trying to do a little bit of damage with your raider on the other side of the map. 
Okay, so we're gonna go for a house after at uh, after he gets uh, another archer, another two workers. We're gonna go for a house at 26, 26 supply. If you lose your work uh, raider, it's gonna be 24 supply. But we're gonna go for a house. And then we're gonna go for a barracks right after that on the high ground. We're gonna s pause uh, archer production for now. Uh, don't if you're being attacked, you can do that. But we're gonna get two more workers. So you're gonna see you have eight workers here, and then one more being added. Eight workers here, one more being added, and then we're gonna add a third racks. Generally, I want you to put your two and three and four racks up in the main base, so it's less likely to be scouted. Obviously, if you still have your raider arrive, you know, do a little bit of more damage, and your fourth racks, like so. And then continue building worker, uh, uh, archers. So no more workers, but just continue building uh, un army units and houses as you need them. So nine workers here, nine workers here, and just continue building units. And obviously you don't want to lose your raider, ideally. Just just play really safe with your raider. There's a lot of bit of lag. Actually a lot of yes. lag. I don't know why that's going on. Why is it so laggy? I have no idea. Maybe I'll just lose this raider. Maybe that will help. Yeah, that seems to help. Probably the AI. So we're gonna just continue building uh, archers and uh, un just units in general. Now you can bring uh, uh, build soldiers as well. And then we'll build a house at around 36. And. I guess this is not quite optimal, but it's fine. It's fine, you're probably gonna be losing a handful of units here and there, so... Uh, and then you're just gonna continue to build units out of your four racks, um, and then just try to attack with it. Once you hit, maybe around... maybe around 50 to 60 supply. So I think that's uh, that would be probably the best bet for you, or and that is what I would recommend uh, you to do. So continue build units, continue to build uh, supply depots, or not supply depots, houses so you don't get supply blocked. And then just try to do some damage uh, with a really big push off of four racks. So you can just rally your units across the map, just walk across the map. Um, I would recommend going up to at least 7 archers, just because 7 archers is the magic number to 2 shot wolves. And then the rest of it you can just add uh, soldiers or whatever. But yeah, essentially we're going to do a 2 base all in, or this is what I would recommend you to do. 2 base all in, 4 axe, 9 workers per base, and just punch them with, with, with uh, just constant units. Don't get supply blocked. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But uh, I think this should work um, against Rax and Beast pretty well. If it is against uh, Mech, you might be catter dropped at this point in time. Uh, if you do get catter dropped, or if you if there is a gy uh, gyros or something like that, um, leave your or or try to defend as best as you can for the time being and uh, you know pull your workers away from the cata drops and you know use your archers to defend uh, if that and just try your best essentially and then and then just push it across the map honestly um, when you're attacking into mech yeah you gotta be really on top of your micro to dodge all the catapult shots uh, but against beast and against uh, rax i think this build will do pretty well and you should be able to get a um, a relatively quick win, relatively easy win as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it.